Today, insha'Allah ta'ala, our first episode, I felt like we should be discussing the most important reminder. The most important reminder. And that is to remind ourselves of what are we doing here? What is the purpose of our life? As you have heard in the introduction uh, recited by our beloved Sheikh Sajjad, he recited the ayat from Surah Al-Dhariyat. وَذَكِّرْ فَإِنَّ الذِّكْرَ تَنْفَعُ الْمُؤْمِنِينَ Remind them, Ya Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, remind them because the reminder benefits the believers. Right? And then what came after that? What is the ayah that came after that? Well, ya Allah, what should we constantly be reminded of? وَمَا خَلَقْتُ الْجِنَّ وَالْإِنسَ إِلَّا لِيَعْبُدُونَ Allahu Akbar. I did not create jinn kind and mankind to accept to worship me. Our main goal, our main purpose of existence is to worship Allah Azza wa Jal and to be obedient servants. So, this is today's reminder. My brothers and sisters, we get so involved in dunya matters that we forgot the purpose of our existence. Our main goal in this dunya is to gain the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. As we get so involved in our daily affairs, we sometimes go through uh, actions that are not pleasing to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Sometimes our goal becomes to earn extra wealth to accumulate more wealth, to get that bigger home, to get that newer car. Huh? And that, subhanAllah, sometimes make us neglect the purpose of our existence. Some people on their, on their uh, pursuit to get these goals, they start uh, uh, disobeying Allah Azza wa They stop praying, for example. Somebody becomes so busy at work in his job that he neglects his prayer. Allahu Akbar, that's a crime. That's a major sin. A sister pursuing her career, uh, she takes off her hijab. Allah, my sister, my brother, we are here to worship Allah Azza wa Jal. We are here to worship Allah Subhanahu wa Ta'ala. We cannot, we cannot uh, have our own dunya goals and through disobeying Allah Subhanahu wa Ta'ala. You will never be uh, pleased in this dunya by disobeying Allah Subhanahu wa Ta'ala. All these temporary joys they are called temporary, mata'ud dunya. They are just temporary. We have to raise the bar and make sure that all our a'mal is to please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So the reminder today is that we are here to worship Allah azza wa jal. Does that mean I have to stay in the masjid 24 seven making salat and I'm fasting and I'm reading Quran? Absolutely not. We do our dues to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and we can transform every action in our life to a ibadah, to an act of worship. My treatment to my parents is an act of worship. My raising of my, uh, to my children is an act of worship. The treatment to my spouse is an act of worship. The way I do business is an act of worship. The way I conduct myself and, and I, and I uh, uh, discuss uh, matters in this dunya is an act of worship. So uh, worshiping Allah Azza wa Jal comes not only by performing the rituals, but we can transform every action that we do into an act of worship. And this is, this is the reason for our existence, is to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I'm gonna remind myself and remind you of an ayah and a hadith. One ayah and one hadith. The ayah is in Surah Al-Nahl. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, من عمل صالحا من ذكر أو أنثى وهو مؤمن فلنحيينه حياة طيبة الله أكبر Open your ears my brothers and sisters listen to this Allah Azza wa Jal Allah the creator the provider the sustainer the قوي the, the all capable of doing anything على كل شيء قدير He is saying Whomsoever does righteous deeds, male or female, and he or she are believers. They are believers. 
What do you, what, what, what do we get here, Allah? I, Allah Azza wa Jal, guarantee them, guarantee them a happy life. Ya Allah, my brother and sister, if a rich man, influential man, a generous man guarantee you a happy life, you will be very happy. How about the king of kings, the all rich, the all powerful, the almighty, the all knowledgeable, the all merciful is guaranteeing a happy life, righteous deeds and being a believer. Doing a lot of righteous deeds and you're not believer in Allah and his messenger and all the arcan of Iman is not enough. Doing a lot, being a believer uh, and not doing all righteous deeds is not enough. It has to be both together. Doing righteous deeds, all kinds of righteous deeds, salat, zakat, uh, uh, hajj, umrah, charity, kindness, uh, be, uh, taking care of your parents, taking care of your, your spouse, uh, taking care of your neighbor, uh, conveying the deen, all kinds of righteous deeds. And you are a strong believer in la ilaha illallah. You are a muwahid. Both together, Allah said, Allah said, I guarantee them a happy life. We are all dreaming and wishing for a happy life. How about if the guarantee is coming from our creator? The guarantee is coming from our creator. My brothers, my sisters, strengthen your Iman. You see, the, we have to have strong Iman in Allah and in His words. This is a promise from Allah. He said that, Subhana. That's it. It's done. That is the ayah I want to remind myself and remind you. How about the hadith? Listen to this hadith. It's in Ibn Majah and the hadith is Sahih. قال صلى الله عليه وسلم من جعل الهموم هم واحدا هم المعاد كفاه الله هم دنيا يا الله يا الله يا الله I beg you to increase us in iman in your words and in the words of Rasulullah صلى الله عليه وسلم my brothers and sisters listen to this Rasulullah صلى الله عليه وسلم said whomsoever make all his concerns all his worries into one worry the worry of the hereafter, Allah will relieve him from all the worries of the dunya. Don't you have worries, my brother? Aren't you worried about your children, worried about your job, worried about your health, worried about, about this and about that? Allah will take care of all these worries. What should I do? Make the akhirah, make the hereafter my main concern. What does that mean? That means I'm always thinking before I perform any action. Is it pleasing to Allah? If it is, Bismillah. If it is not, I stop. If it's not pleasing to Allah Azza wa I stop. And if it's pleasing to Allah, I will do as much as I can from it. My brothers and sisters, Allah will take care of all our concerns. Subhanallah. My brothers and sisters, Allah Azza wa have guaranteed our provision, our rizq is guaranteed from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Me and you, we will not die until we get our last penny. Whatever Allah has decreed for us, whatever Allah has written for us, we will not die before we get it. So that is guaranteed from Allah azza wa jal. But what's not guaranteed is me and you going to Jannah. It is not guaranteed, subhanAllah. So my brothers and sisters, we spend a lot of time, a lot of concentration on what is guaranteed and we neglect and ignore what's not guaranteed. Let's focus, let's focus on how can we gain the pleasure of Allah. Let's focus on worshiping Allah Azza wa Jal and fulfilling the purpose of our existence hoping that Allah Azza wa Jal will accept from all of us and gather us all in the Firdaus Al-A'la. Ameen, Ya Rabbil Alameen. My brothers and sisters, I ask Allah Azza wa Jal to make me and you benefit from this reminder. Ameen, Ya Allah. I love you all for the sake of Allah.